I am thrilled to catch up with my friend and one of my clients this year, Miss Michelle Legal. She found a home in Willow Point that is as beautiful as she is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, it is. We love it here. It is a great place. Lake Martin is a fabulous place. We totally enjoy every time we come here. Well, um, I thought we might let the fans of Love Lake Martin walk through the process <laughs> of buying a house at Lake Martin. So, okay. Tell us about it. Um, I guess I didn't really understand the process, um, what it was going to entail, honestly. Um, when you buy a house, I'm an agent in Birmingham, so when I show houses to clients in Birmingham, it is all about living there on a daily basis and the functionality of it and the ooh-ah of the kitchen and where the kids are going to be most of the time and the main level garage and the backyard and does it have a fence and how we, can we accommodate the dogs and how close is the school and where does the school bus <laughs> pick up and drop off and those kinds of things all matter to people. When you come to the lake, that's not necessarily the most important thing. I don't think we talked about one of those things. We didn't? <laughs> well, let's talk about that. <laughs> hmm. Um, when you come to the lake to buy, it is about entertainment, it is about the view, it's about the water, it's, it's about accessibility to the water and how easy access it is to get to where your friends are going to come from and so forth, the convenience of things. Um, when we come to the lake, we don't leave the lake. We don't care where the grocery store is, how close it is, we don't care about restaurants and how close they are. We do all that first, we come to the lake, and we don't leave. Well, let's go inside. Okay, so um, this is the foyer of how many houses would you say we saw, Michelle? Oh, I would say we easily saw 30. I would agree. 30. We looked for six months. Yes. Okay, let's talk about the seasonality of looking. You know, I was thrilled when Michelle started her search late fall, uh, mm -hmm. kind of really getting into the winter mm -hmm. because the water was at the lowest. Right. Right? Right. And we talked about, you know, how important that was going to be that if you like a house in the winter, when the water mm -hmm. is low, you're going to love it in the summer. Correct. So here you are. So we walked through the foyer and then we hit this room. And when we did, I heard Michelle gasp. <laughs> and it was pretty much over, right? Pretty much, yeah. When I walked in this room and I felt, um, so my personality is one that's very lodgy, very out west, very rustic, but, but nice. And so I came in this room and I can see through this room and see all water. And to me, that was, you know, getting to most of what I wanted. Um, the tall ceilings, the, the big expansive room where I could entertain friends, easy access out down to the water. There it is, there's the view. 2015, it has been the best year in real estate at Lake Martin ever, second only to 2005. So it's important to note that this was the first day on the market for yes. the house when Michelle and I came to see it. And we um, walked through, walked through. I mean, we were going over the bones. I have chills still thinking about it. The room is so amazing and beautiful and exactly what she exactly. said she wanted. And we get to, I don't know, five minutes into the showing and we realized that the house was sold fully furnished. Mm -hmm. now, how, oh, yes, how very turnkey. Yes, how important was that to, for your decision? Um, that wasn't, you know, it just took a lot off of my plate, really, more than anything else. It's, you know, it's less that I had to do. It's less that I had to buy and worry about when um, I have a house in Birmingham that, you know, requires enough time for me to do that. So for it to be so move-in ready was, was very much a plus. 50 to 70 percent of a home's value at Lake Martin is in your water. Well, mm -hmm. The more you look at houses, the more you start understanding what that means. What you just said is such an educated buyer in that every room has access to the water. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that's key. It that doesn't key. matter in a primary home, does it? No, N no. So Nobody cares about necessarily waking up to see their backyard, but it does make a world of difference when you wake up and your cup of coffee is looking at the water or sitting on the deck looking at the water. Mm -hmm. So... 
And look, look at the fireplace. Look, we can come here in the wintertime. We can have a fire, prop up our feet, watch college football, drink hot chocolate, and still have the water. It's not just a place for the summer. So down here, one of the things that um, was important to me when I was looking at a lake house was a place, I have an eight-year-old son, um, and we all know that kids will be kids and kids will grow up and being close to mommy will not be important forever. So I've got a couple of years where his bedroom's upstairs, but after that, he's gonna be downstairs with his friends and I thought this was a fabulous place for him to come with his friends, in and out, easy access to the water, they can come and go, I don't have to be a hello mom, and they can enjoy this space on their own, and they don't have to be in and out of the kitchen, under my feet. So that was another big plus when I was looking at houses, is a space, an additional space for the kids to come and play and enjoy uh, their own activities. So, Michelle, you hit, you hit another huge point. Is um, at the lake we we understand quite quickly when you start thinking about the different ages and people growing up. Mm -hmm. You can't just think that your kids or your uh, you know, your little ones are always going to be that size. You've got to think in five, 10, 15 year right. increments. And multi level is so important for sound. Mm -hmm. If you're coming here to get away, if you're coming here to um, socialize with adult friends who might have their um, children or grandparents come with that, you know, multi level space, mm -hmm. you don't have to have a ton of bedrooms, but that really makes a difference right. on loud, boisterous, you know, fun weekends where you might have three groups of people very much with three different intentions for right. a Saturday. Right. It just gives him a sense of independence, a yes. place where he can he can bring his friends and, and he feels like he has, you know, um, a place to go. So coming and going, your primary home in Birmingham, that's mostly what we have. Um, and it's all about functionality. It's all about ease in and out and convenience and location. That is very primary and very important, you know, in a primary home, I should say. Um, here, not so much. Here, it's more about, are you comfortable here? Entertaining your friends here, having your family here, a place you can come and just stay, and a place that you're comfortable in being. Yes. Um, and it's convenient to Birmingham. The drive here from Birmingham, driveway to driveway, is an hour and 15 minutes. That's not very far to come for, you know, a little bit of mini vacation. Mm -hmm. And that is what the lake provides, really, for us. It's, it's a place to come and get away and, and not be part of the rat race. And everybody, I think, needs that a little bit. You and I talked for months about there's some sort of trade-off mm -hmm. at every price range. Is it going to be the water? Is mm -hmm. it going to be the house? And you've got to somehow go home, wrap your brain around marrying the two, mm -hmm. the water and the home. And for you, I remember just watching you. You could see your brain turning figuring out how you were going to spend your weekends. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would go, okay, I'm going to drive down on a Friday, maybe after my last appointment with a client, and I want to be able to do this on Friday afternoon and this on Friday night, and that rules out this area, this area, and this area. I mm -hmm. mean, it was an amazing, awesome process to mm -hmm. watch you be able to like really fine tune uh, exactly what you wanted that was going to be best for your three generations of your family mm -hmm. that's going to enjoy this home. Mm -hmm. and. Well achieved, sister. Mm -hmm. You did a great <laughs> job. Thank you so much for letting me help you. Absolutely. It was a fun process. It was a little bit more, um, you know, it, it entailed a lot more than I expected it to. Um, well, let's but go see it was worth the, it. The, um, what you got. So here you see, low maintenance yard. That mattered to me too. It's a place to come, vacation, not want to worry about cutting the grass so much keeping up the yard, so that was a big plus. That it's just, it's not a lot of, not a lot of maintenance, incredible view. Um, life just gets real simple here.